The clouds of doom that have been gathering over Swindon of late should be blown away by this performance, despite going one goal down after only eight minutes. Kevin Gallon's storming run set up perfectly by Sheron for Nigel Quasi to slot home. Quasi very much in the long-term plans of the England coach, Glenn Hoddle. But Swindon were back on level terms within minutes. George and Dar back in the side was brought down by Carl Reby. And Mark Walters stepped up for his fifth goal and second penalty this season. But Swindon's elation soon came down to earth with a bang on 20 minutes, as Fraser Digby was a judge to have handled outside his area. The replay isn't conclusive. But despite the protestations of the Swindon players, the linesman was in no doubt. And Alan Butler gave Digby the opportunity of an early bath. Alan McDonald elected to take his place between the sticks, as Steve McMahon rapidly reorganised his side. But remarkably, the sending off didn't seem to affect Swindon, as Scott Leach nearly put them ahead with a 25-yard shot. And McDonald was proving his worth as a stand-in keeper. Reward for their enterprising play came with virtually the last kick of the half. Walters teasing the QPR defence before giving Ifeonora the chance of a debut goal. Onora signed to beef up Swindon's attack, instantly repaying Steve McMahon's faith in him. In the second half, ten-man Swindon were understandably content not to give anything away, although Kevin Gallon had the perfect opportunity to equalise on 75 minutes. But Alan McDonald wasn't looking out of place in a green jersey, proving to be a safe pair of hands and not wanting his old club to ruin his chances of a clean sheet. He made a string of fine saves and, despite the odd flap, was always in the right place at the right time, as Swindon stopped the rot of four successive defeats with only their second win in nine games. Well, what a great fighting spirit that Swindon showed there, particularly after the heavy defeat by Middlesbrough. Absolutely. After getting beat 6-0 last week, to come back, uh, can see the goal in the first eight minutes and then lose your goalkeeper and win 2-1 is a fantastic result. Yeah, I mean, do you think Digby deserved to get sent off? Uh, definitely not. Again, I can't tell whether the ball's in or out, and I've seen this uh, six or seven times. And the linesman's made the decision on that. It's absolutely ridiculous, you know, and uh, he's got to be 100% sure to give a decision like that because now, obviously, keepers are off and it changes the whole complex of the game. So. For him to give that decision is absolutely ridiculous. And here we can see uh, Swindon's second goal by Ifeonora. He looks like a good signing already, doesn't he? Well, there's nothing iffy about that goal. <laughs> you know, I think it, it, looks like a, it looks like Wayne Allison. And as we said, they've, they've missed Wayne since he's gone to Huddersfield. Um, and I think the difference is they can just put the ball in the box and they think something's going to happen. So, you know, obviously um, he's starting to repay them straight away. And help Swindon stop the rot, do you think? Well, we hope so. After a result like that with ten men, the spirit should be good and they should go on from that. They started in style against Swindon. Kevin Gallon's cross was touched by Mike Sherron into the path of young England starlet Nigel Quasi. Rangers ahead in the eighth minute, but it wasn't a sign of things to come. Shortly afterwards, George Endar won this tussle with Carl Reddy, who brought him down. Mark Walters stroked in the penalty to make it 1-1. Then came controversy. Swindon keeper Fraser Digby handled just outside the area. Referee Alan Butler laid down the law. And Digby was sent off after just 20 minutes. Defender Alan McDonald, who became a QPR legend in 17 years at the club, took over in goal and was barely troubled, as Swindon claimed only their fourth win in 22 matches since they topped the table in November. If Ian Ura signed from Gillingham in the week, headed home Walters cross, Rangers are getting dragged into a dogfight. QPR 1, Swindon 2.